Multiplayer. Is it on? Okay, is it? I got it on. Okay, you only need. Take three. All right, now I can finally crash this party. No, I'm gonna. <laughs> Well, what you are seeing here is not part of the actual playthrough. What you are seeing instead is my new Quake World server that I'm running. The server is located at Razorback95.com and can be accessed via port 28501. So, in your Quake World console, you just type in connect Razorback95.com colon 28501. Yeah, that's that's why I did it. Of course, I understand that. Quake World. It's not necessarily the entire Quake game, because it's only suitable for internet play, because it just locks out the single player mode. What it is, is it's a first port of Quake that reworks the netcode to make it better optimized for playing over the network. One of the things that it implements is client-side prediction, which I don't know exactly how it works, but essentially what it would do is just, in effect, reduce the amount of latency in or, well, not necessarily reduce latency, but better account for the high latency connections that are very, very prevalent in dial-up internet. Yeah. Uh -huh. Wait, no! Why? I accidentally I have to do it. I have to do it. Sorry. Now, of course, if you're playing Quake on oh, land, if you want to have like a land match. Quake is perfect. The original Quake executables are perfectly acceptable for land matches because they don't have the kinds of latency problems that Quake World addresses, but Oh, yeah. oh shit! Oh 
that was a double kill. That was a triple kill. Oh my god. Damn. Damn, man. I'm so Shit. fucking dare you. This. <laughs> Well, anyway, still still people are shot. Well, oh, someone actually killed me. I'm fucking waiting for this. I was waiting for this one. I was wondering if it's on the switch line. Oh, I don't have any weapons. Oh, I actually do no! Wrong weapon! Fuck, it's totally open. It's so bothered in this game. I hate the grenade launcher. So, some details about multiplayer and Quake in regards to the actual gameplay. It's certainly very different from uh, the single player experience because there's a lot of things you have to basically give up on. You know, the first five weapons are pretty much worthless because, you know, they're not going to be so effective when just everyone's moving around all over the place. Generally, you're going to be favoring the rocket oh, launch or the thunderbolt oh my most God. often. Gosh. What a crap. <laughs> okay, how long can this dead? And oh, it's a very unforgiving little thing. Cause kinda like the super stock shotgun in Doom 2, a rocket can potentially kill you instantly and Holy moly, man. <laughs> you know what I said about crashing the party? I'm gonna crash it like... I don't know. Like... Me at the sale at Bath Road. <laughs> Haven't heard that one in a while. Yeah. Bath Road the best shop. Especially the pyramid. God damn, Andrew's taking the lead. Oh man. I'm fucking dirty in here. Oh. I'm fucking broke. You should also note that this is not necessarily a standard death mo deathmatch mode that's issued by Drake itself. Um it's actually courtesy of a mod called KTX. Um, what it does is it adds a third variant of deathmatch, which allows weapons to stay when you pick them up, oh. and ammo responds faster, and everything else responds normally. Quake in a vanilla server configuration doesn't have that option. No. Instead, you have either option one, which would mean weapons disappear for a while and you have to wait for them to respawn once you pick them up. And And there's also a second option where weapons stay when you pick them up, but it's kind of a bad mode because none of the other items respawn. No ammo, no health, or anything like that. It's all... Uh, once it's picked up, it can't ever be picked up for the rest of the match. So, oh. the third... Like a battle royale. What? So, the third option addresses the shortcoming of the second while what a combat taking advantage of its conveniences, basically. Wow. Is there anything to plan now? Now about 
the system I'm using. It's uh, very unusual, very rare to find kind of thing. Largely because they're kind of a pain in the ass to get set up with all the desirable parts like IO shields and retention brackets. This is the Pentium 2 Dion that is working right here. The Pentium 2 Dion was not really designed for normal consumer use. Rather, it is a successor to the Pentium Pro, as it happens to have um, full-speed level 2 cache that's stored on a separate chip custom design, I think, by Intel themselves. And the Xeon came in several different speeds and cash sizes. I'm using the 2 megabyte version here, but performance improvements in a game like Quake aren't really too significant and really would make sense as to why that you know <laughs> Um, I don't have any weapons. In, in games, generally you can expect the Xeon to yield a 10 to 20% improvement in the frame rate, which really isn't all that much, obviously. But being that this CPU will be designed more for um, servers and workstations, maybe it would benefit a lot more over there. I've yet to really extensively benchmark these CPUs and compare them against equally clocked normal Pentium 2s, but to say the least, the Pentium 2 Xeon is not necessarily worth it. I mean, it's a neat little thing to have around if you're really into collecting old hardware, but you know, if you just want a practical solution, maybe maybe you're better off just getting like penny on three. Wait. It's yeah. no standard little kind of a cooler that there's no standard active cooler for the Pentium 2 Xeon, unlike the normal Pentium 2. So basically have to um, what you have to do is with the passive heat sink give it put some airflow next to it you know get some fans near it might have to be a little bit clever with yeah. how you um, Mount them. Maybe use like plastic zip ties somewhere in the case. Okay, five three seconds left to go. But if you do get 
sufficient airflow next to it. Usually an ideal temperature you can expect to be recorded in a hardware monitor would be something like 55 to 63 degrees Celsius. Of course, considering the fact that the Pentium 2 Xeon does not use uh, SSC instructions, especially with that Windows 95 Max support for, you could say that it might be a not cool sort of Windows 95 machine. I mean, I have it running on Windows 95 right now, but I, if you really want oh. the fastest or practical Windows 95 machine, you just get an app on Thunderbird instead. Because you also get a now now with that. Yeah. going pretty well over here right now. We've had some practice, we've had a good plentiful of practice sessions over here. We're currently locked in the map DM6, obviously, but uh, once this is done, I plan to add a few more maps for rotation, and I'd love to hear your feedback on this server and see what I can do to yeah, that's make it more sustainable in the long run. You can send me a comment or, you know, email me if I ever get a email service working on my domain. Oh my <laughs> god, I <laughs> myself. Or you oh, can here we go. contact me on Discord or something like that. Oh, I need to subscribe. Alright! So, again, you can connect to this server via... by typing connect razorback95.com colon 28501. By the time that this video, by the time that everyone else actually sees this video of us duking it out, the server will probably have matured a little bit more significantly since then, and we should also maybe even have some more ports that you can connect to for different game modes. No! No! Fucking lost 65 rockets. Oh my god. 65 rockets? Yeah. You could just pick up a backpack and... I mean, yeah, right. everyone's like, picking up backpacks so rockets. quickly that... You know, it, yeah. usually you can get 100 rockets quite easily, just oh, I know. depending on how much carnage there's been. Yeah, I would... I don't know, anyway, always like, lag for selection. Oh yeah, speaking of lag... Um, the strange thing about the... Vanilla Quake World fly-in is that it seems to be brain cap because when I was running time demos on here, I could easily surpass 60 frames per second. But that just does not seem to be available here. I wonder if this is like a deliberate measure to say maybe save on CPU or anything like that, but either way, it 
is making me play significantly oh, yeah. worse than I would be otherwise, but... Damn it! I mean... Five seconds! Luxury Arizona seems to have clearly gotten the hang of this, I mean... Look at this! Congratulations, Luxury Arizona! You just won Big Eye! What wow. do you have to say for yourself? Yeah. You know wow. What? I would make a first sponge lane. reference here, but I'm not gonna do it. This was a lot of fun. Thank you for having me on. Alright. Now let's go watch a stupid clone of hardcore videos. Are we done? Yep. We're gonna be watching the premiere now. That was okay. okay. That's, That's a it. GG, guys.